Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today you are joining me whilst I apply Geon ceramic coatings for the very first time. So like I mentioned in the world's most stressful wedding car preparation, there was plenty left unsaid about the Geon ceramic coatings. In today's video to mix things up, I'm going to try and use the DSLR footage that I didn't use in the first video, however some of it will be the same, although the narration is completely different. So the Geon ceramic coatings that I'm going to be demonstrating the application process for today is called the Geon Synchro Treatment. This consists of two layers of Geon Mose and a single layer of Geon Skin. When the owner of the Mercedes CLS 63 AMG got himself booked in, he said to me, Joe, I've done my own research and I want you to apply Geon Synchro for me. I said, not a problem, Jim. How long does the ceramic coating last? He said, I have no idea how long it lasts. What do you mean? I said, is it a five year ceramic coating, a three year one, 12 months or two years? He said, ah, yes, it's the five year coating. I said, fair enough, Jim. I'll do a bit of research in the meantime and I look forward to the car being dropped off. As you can see, the car is now being dropped off and I have begun the preparation stages of the detail. Please do not use the like buttons as a poll, I have since realised and is the reason as to why I've re-uploaded this video, but as it turns out, asking people to dislike your videos in any way could in fact doom this video of any traction with the YouTube algorithm. Please smash the like button for now to show your support, unless you really didn't like the video, and I'll see if I can put a poll in the description below as to which detailing manufacturer you prefer. Although please note that I've done my best with the narration not to show any bias towards either manufacturer and want to let my own personal experience and hard facts give a good review on Geon Synchro. I also have nothing to gain from favouring either manufacturer. Of course, the vehicle needs to be fully washed and decontaminated before being dried and then machine polished, which was covered in a nice amount of detail in the first version of this video, so be sure to check that version out if you haven't watched it before at a time that suits you. With this version of the video, I want to keep on the topic of Geon products so I can give you my honest thoughts and opinions. Geon Iron Remover was the first Geon product that I used on the day, so let's give this a quick fire review. Geon Iron is a premium quality iron fallout remover and even if I tried, I wouldn't be able to find a single bad thing to say about it. It doesn't smell as bad as some other iron fallout removers, it's very effective, it's dwell time is good, it works and I would say that this is one of the better iron fallout removers on the market. This product comes highly recommended by myself, so let's move to the next product. I did mention that I'm going to skip past most stages of the detail, the ones that don't contain Geon products and I did only use certain ones which were supplied by my customer. So next is Geon Q2M Prep. Q2M Prep is essentially Geon's version of a panel wipe or IPA spray in order to remove polish oils and residue from the paintwork to prepare the surface for ceramic coating application. Q2M Prep is a bit different to the G-Technic panel wipe that I usually use, however this isn't to say that it's a bad product. Gion's version doesn't stink of alcohol for a start and almost smells a bit fruity, which certainly isn't a bad thing. It works well, the residue is easy to remove and it definitely feels as if it's preparing the surface perfectly. I'm pretty sure that if you applied heaps of the product onto the surface, it would still be nice and easy to fully remove. Two Geon products down and I'm extremely satisfied. Just a quick glimpse of the before and after machine polishing from a single stage enhancement on the driver's side of the AMG showing off some nice results.
Before making a start with Geon Synchro, I needed to read the instructions as I was not yet familiar with the products. My biggest question was which bottle do you apply first as there were three. A quick read later and I figured the combination out and set about using the Geon Block and Suede applicator to apply the first layer of Geon Mose. Starting with the bonnet, which is what I always tend to do, and on first impressions I would say that the coating itself is of a slightly thicker substance compared to G-Technic Crystal Serum Light. Something that I don't believe I managed to capture on camera, which is unfortunate, is the fact that the coating appears to have silver metallic flakes in it. When spreading the coating across the panel I was completely mesmerised by the flakes. Something that you're going to have to take my word for, but if you give it a go yourself, you'll see exactly what I mean and I bet you'll be mesmerised too. The coating was nice and easy to spread across the panel and it wasn't drying out any quicker than Crystal Serum, so it gave me no bad thoughts or headaches on the early stages of applying it. A short time later with the first half of the bonnet adequately coated, I took my first microfiber towel and begun to remove the excess residue. The removal process absolutely astounded me. I just couldn't believe how quickly the excess product residue was being removed. After flipping the first towel once and giving the panel a second wipe over, the excess product residue appeared to be fully removed. If this was G-Technic Crystal Serum Light, then at this point I can guarantee that there will be five times more excess residue left on the surface. I took my second microfiber towel and gave the panel a final wipe over and to my amazement the coating residue was completely removed. This usually takes five times longer when doing the G-Technic CSL Black treatment so I was questioning myself as to why this was the case which we'll get to shortly. One thing that I couldn't get used to was the Geon Block and Suede applicator. Considering I've now been using G-Technic ceramics for over three years, I've become more than accustomed to the G-Technic Finger Foam applicator. I opted to move to the Finger Foam applicator and set about applying the first layer of Geon Mose to the driver's side door. With the initial thoughts of amazement in terms of how easy and effortless this ceramic coating is to apply. The easiest things with ceramic coatings are applying them and the difficulty or time consuming part is often removing the excess. Without a shadow of a doubt due to how easy and effortless the removal or buffing of the coating is, I would highly recommend Geon Synchro for you first time ceramic users. Although there are reasons and good reasons too as to why I would recommend the g CSL Black treatment for the slightly more advanced user. The first two layers of Geon Mose are essentially going to form a hard shell around the vehicle to offer wash induced wear resistance, gloss retention, a slick finish and ultimately a hard base coat for ultimate protection. The rest of the vehicle was finished off with the first two layers of Geon Mose which was undertaken with record breaking ceramic coating application time due to how easy this stuff is to essentially buff off. The waiting times for applying all three layers are after applying the first layer of Mose you need to wait one hour before applying the second, then after finishing the second layer of Mose you need to wait four hours before applying the final layer of skin. You then need to leave the vehicle inside the unit for 12 hours for it to fully harden up and cure before taking it back outside. If you have an infrared heat lamp then this will accelerate those drying times, however I do not have one. With the first two layers of Geon Mose completed with myself being pleasantly surprised with how quickly I was getting it all done, after those final four hours of finishing the interior off and engine bay whilst waiting for the first two layers to harden up, it was time to apply Geon Skin. Once again using the G-Technic Finger Foam applicator to apply the ceramic coating, which may be seen as sacrilege due to it not being a Geon applicator, although in my world they both do the same thing, I'm just used to the G-Technic variant, the one and only top layer of Geon skin was applied. Again it's a very similar story in comparison to Geon Mose, which is a nice and easy putting on process, ensuring full and even coverage and by the time you've spread the ceramic coating as evenly as you can around your one panel, which usually takes a couple of minutes, the excess residue is gently buffed and removed immediately after, using a fresh microfiber towel. The 
This process is completed over the entire vehicle and when it's finished it will need 12 hours to fully cure whilst remaining inside the unit. Gion's skin is going to provide the vehicle with an ultra hydrophobic top coat, in fact I'd even go as far as saying it will be an unbeatable and revolutionary ultra hydrophobic top coat, to give the vehicle a ridiculous amount of deep gloss and self cleaning characteristics. I'm not sure where I stand on the legal side of things when it comes to expressing my own opinion to the world on YouTube which disagrees with the manufacturer's description of their own product. But considering that this is my own YouTube channel and at the end of the day this is just my own opinion, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts to begin with about the Geon description of the product. So as taken from the Geon website, Q2 Mose is the hardest automotive paint coating available to a wide range of users, extraordinary hardness of the coating preserves the effects achieved with paint correction, combined with the extreme slickness of the Q2 skin top coat, the Q2 Synchro coating system provides immense benefits during daily maintenance routines, making regular car care frequent, not sure what that means, and easier. So, I mean this isn't the hardest automotive paint coating available to a wide range of users, because that crown is well and truly held by G-Technic's 9H CSL black treatment, which is also available to the average driveway detailer, i.e. Crystal Serum Light and XOV4. Each layer of Geon Ceramic adds a 2H hardness to the paintwork, which would mean that after your three layers you would have built a 6H hardness coating. Well with G-Technic you get a 9H hardness coating from the three layers, so that finishes that debate off. Also, Q2 Synchro is the most advanced widely available coating offered by Gion. Its aim is to offer a professional coating experience to all customers outside the certified detailer program. Its multi-layer application ends with the application of Q2 Skin, an advanced silicon-based top coat that provides exceptional slickness and unrivaled hydrophobicity. Despite the three layered application, both base and top coat are user friendly and easy to apply, which I completely agree with. So as it turns out, Gion Synchro is a two year ceramic coating that is incredibly easy to apply and definitely worth the look if you are considering doing a ceramic coating application. I would confidently say that Gion Synchro will remain more water repellent than the G-Technic equivalent coating, although in two years time you'll have to do Gion once again. A simple way to keep G-Technic CSL Black water repellent throughout those 5 years and just as water repellent as Gion Synchro is to use a maintenance wet spray like Sam's Detailing Ceramic Boost, CarPro Hydro 2 Lite, G-Technic C1 Liquid Crystal or even Gion Wet Coat. Gion Synchro is good, in fact I'd even go as far as saying that it is a revolutionary ceramic coating in its own right but the sole fact that it only lasts for 2 years was a huge disappointment my end. I was massively impressed with the Synchro coatings themselves, I've put Gion's website in the description box below for you to check out, please do not use the like buttons as a poll, I have since realised and is the reason as to why I've re-uploaded this video, but as it turns out, asking people to dislike your videos in any way could in fact doom this video of any traction with the YouTube algorithm. Please smash the like button for now to show your support unless you really didn't like the video and I'll see if I can put a poll in the description below as to which detailing manufacturer you prefer. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the video in the comment section below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon just to make sure you don't miss lots of up and coming content. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.
Yeah, it does, to be honest. Yeah, it does. I guess you go into something thinking, yeah, this is going to be nice and 